What's up guys, MagHD here with another video for you guys. Now today we are going to talk about uh, the fixed FIFA movement and you know, especially that in terms of trading. What's going to happen with the market, especially on Black Friday, which is this, which is this huge promotion that EA is putting out there um, with discard packs, happy hours, lightning rounds, promo packs and whatnot. Um, the thing about this is that a lot of people have talked about EA. I want you how to um, remind them that that as a as a as a company, they should definitely like treat us better. Um, they should give us what we want, etc., etc. Now, as you can see here, um, it states right here that we need to talk about real problems that needs to be fixed, like kickoff boost, etc., etc. And uh, the way people are going to and clarify this problem with EA is actually boycotting Black Friday. As you can see, it's another huge trend on Reddit. Uh, boycott Black Friday, and it just basically just says how much they, you know, this whole movement just tells everybody how much they hate special points in FIFA and specific things in FIFA. Um, one of the biggest complaints at the moment is the weekend league, together with the kickoff glitch, together, with especially the weekend league, actually, um, and in general, just. The game was so good when it got released and now it's bad. So there's a lot of points right here that you know it's just it's just so hard to to for EA to cope with because there are so many different opinions as you can see right here. Now as I'm you know when I'm saying this I mean like I personally I think PKs sucks. But another person might think they're great, oh my god, they're great, I don't want them to be fixed. So pretty it's pretty hard for EA to actually deal with this and make everybody happy. But now let's get, get into the trading, um, because as you can see here, Itani is boycotting Black Friday and he's not spending a penny on Black Friday. Last year I spent two, uh, 25 uh, pounds of FIFA points on Black Friday, this year I'm going to donate it to charity. As you can see, people are backing them up, almost uh, 350, thumbs up right here, 620 and 700, maybe, maybe even 800 likes. And then boycotting Friday got 5,500 likes. Or, or votes up or thumbs up or whatever you want to put. Now this mean, means that the market crash that was actually going to happen during um, Black Friday might not be as strong as it is, as it is supposed to be because all the you know, FIFA players on Reddit that are connected to Twitter and follow YouTubers etc etc are usually the better player, the more, the more dedicated player to, you know, you know, to FIFA which means that they might sp uh, spend more money to a FIFA player that doesn't even, you know, really know about Reddit, doesn't really know about Twitter, the pro, pro players, and doesn't even play weekly, weekly. Um, but this, obviously, this is not that many, um, like five thousand. Let's see, let's say ten thousand, uh, are nothing compared to the whole um, FIFA user base. But it might, you know, go. I think a lot of people actually are going to boycott Black Friday, even though they didn't vote. And we know like 40% of the ultimate team players are not even going to use money in general. Um, what this is going to do in terms of supply and demand is that the demand is going to be so high compared to the supply. Um, this obviously varies in terms of how many people bought and are going to buy players during uh, Black Friday and how many are going to open packs. Uh, a lot of people are doing a road to glory, which means that people are not going to open packs if you're doing a road to glory, obviously, like myself. Um, but just in general, I would say that the best time to buy is probably now because people are panic selling right now and and a hype for Black Friday and and whatnot. But once, uh, let me say, once that Friday comes and hits, and maybe even Saturday when the prices are lowest or or at the start of Black Friday when the prices are lowest, it might not be that low if you know what I mean. Uh, people are going to buy. Everybody going to buy, and and the demand might be too high compared to the supply because if only 50% open packs but 100% buys players which I, I, I guess everybody are going to buy players on Black Friday I bought my investments because I just don't think that you know in general I just don't think that um, that the market is going to dip even further uh, if it does I mean I didn't even lose some of the investments I made um, as you've seen in one of my previous videos so what you want to do now is go and buy uh, buy now if you want to be secure with your money. Um, at least in my opinion, that would be a great idea. And I, you know, saw some Twitter um, dis discussions about this because, once again, 
nobody knows how many people are going to boycott this Friday and Black Friday, and and a lot of people are saying, oh, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. But once EA drop those 125k packs and 100k packs, are you capable of actually controlling your credit card uh, and not buying them? And that's the big issue right here. Um, and but yeah, there's so much to say about this. But let's just you know come to a conclusion. The market might not be that effective. Um, actually, it was last year, previous year. Um, as you can see, Itani is actually telling people to join the movement. Um, I don't know about this. Uh, this is a tough. This, this puts every trader in a tough spot because nobody knows how 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 effective effective this um, like this movement will be. Um, obviously, one thing that you can't do if you want to play completely safe with your coins is that you actually don't buy on Friday and you just look at the market. What are, what is happening? What are the, the the trends on the market? Are the players going down, going up? And then wait until Cyber Monday to buy because that is pretty much as huge on FIFA uh, as Black Friday. At least it was just uh, last year. Excuse me. But guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys got a better view on how the market is going to work with this fixed FIFA mega trend. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.